Yo, there's one more thing I wanted to say on this Alpo situation. Um, Yo, Alpo Martinez had a really good life. I'm talking about besides the snitching, before the snitching. I'm talking about prior to the snitching and all that. Even after the snitching, nigga still came home and did his thing. But I'm saying um, before he got involved with the federal agents or he had any interactions with the feds, Alpo had a really good life. The nigga was a millionaire for real, for real. Not play, play. He been touching hundreds of thousands. He drove almost every ride, you know, at his time. Um, the nigga had condos, did his shit, mad places to live. And he had a lot of things that were not afforded to a lot of people. And this is what most street legends and street drug dealers, why they don't stop when you get ahead some try to invest in businesses and do their shit, but then the feds come. But I'm talking about if the feds don't get you, why you don't just stop the behavior and just go on with your life? Y'all get in the comments and y'all tell me what y'all think about that too.